And finally, to our special segment, Resurgent Africa. Amid stories of coups and crises, we get you tales of hope and positivity that often get overlooked, but not on this show. Our story today is from Zimbabwe. In a groundbreaking study, scientists are taking a deep dive into the social lives of elephants. They have found over 20 gestures through which elephants greet each other. It's a tale of trunk-to-trunk communication, where every flap, reach, and rumble tells a story of a connection and camaraderie among these majestic giants. Get ready to learn about elephant etiquette in our next report. Oh, hello. In a world where hellos are as diverse as the emojis on your phone keyboard, it seems elephants are giving humans a run for their linguistic money. Move over hello as there is a new greeting guru in town and they have got trunks. According to a recent study by the Jafuta Reserve in Zimbabwe, elephants have been caught red-handed or red-trunked. They were observed engaging in a symphony of greetings in the reserve, from ear flapping to trunk reaching. These gentle giants are pulling out all the stops. We had seen that when they separated and reunited, elephants uh, used a lot of different movements. They flap their ears, they spread their ears, they reach with the trunk. And we wanted to know which of these were directed. So if they would use more visual gestures when the recipient was looking at them or more uh, or gestures that make a sound when they weren't. The researchers kept a close eye on nine elephants, four females and five males in a semi-captive state. They were allowed to go wild and free during the day. However, at night they were kept in stables. But Hold on to your tusks, as this is not just a visual spectacle. It is a multi-sensory extravaganza. The elephants have at least 20 types of gestures. They meet each other with sounds like rumbles, roars and trumpets, adding some serious flair to their already impressive repertoire. There's also a difference between how female and male elephants greet each other. Female elephants have bond groups. Studies show that when different groups meet each other in the wild, they engage in elaborate greeting ceremonies. The male elephants have weaker social bonds. Researchers call their meet and greet a risky reunion. It's a hostile interaction. They mainly meet by smelling each other. So, smell plays an important role in the world of elephant greetings. Who needs a fancy cologne when you've got secretions from a unique gland? Elephants use this unique gland to urinate, defecate, and secrete. It's the elephant equivalent of a signature scent, minus the overpriced bottles. And they also often used uh, defecation, urination, and had temporal gland secretions, which could be uh, because of the excitement of seeing each other, but could also be because elephants rely sensibly on olfaction. So these secretions might actually convey some information to the greeting partner on uh, who's that, who, who they are, if they're at a distance, uh, on what's going on with them, how excited they are, or even their sexual state in the wild, especially. But what's really heartwarming is the empathy and tenderness displayed by these majestic creatures. And when they were approaching each other, they would rumble as if they were looking for each other, and then they knew who was coming to greet them. And then they would start just approaching, flapping their ears, spreading their ears. And then as soon as they were close, engaging in a lot of close contact communication, tactile communication. And something that is interesting is the way they present their rump, which could be an invitation to access olfactory information in the genital area. So the next time you're struggling to find the perfect greeting, take a leaf out of the elephant's book. In a world full of handshakes and high fives, a gentle bow may be all that you need to make someone's day. First Post reports from the world's second largest continent. Hello, I'm Alison Lagrange. A very warm welcome from Durban, South Africa. We get you the news and the newsmakers from Africa. South Africa goes to the polls on the 29th of May. I will track the election and bring you ground reports. 
is at the end of the road for the African National Congress and will former President Jacob Zuma stage a dramatic comeback? From elections to climate change to innovations and opportunities. As the world's attention shifts, we report from Africa, the heart of the Global South. Join me every weekday live on First Post.